Buckwit Bay and El Nido Palawan was teeming with algae when the Department of Interior and Local Government inspected the island last month. The DILG noted it was even worse compared to Boracay's algae infestation. In other parts of Buckwit Bay and Barangay Korong Korong, meanwhile, officials discovered pipes from houses disposing directly to the creek, while water in some outfalls contained oil and human waste. End of June, last week of June namin pinuntahan, talaga may lumalabas na maduming tubig. At yung tubig na lumalabas may dumi pa, as in uh, human uh, fecal. Water quality analysis in these areas showed high fecal coliform levels. The level in Estero del Nido reached 3.4 million most probable number per 100 milliliters, exceeding the standard 100 MPN per 100 ml for swimming. The DILG says informal settlers, easement violations, and unregulated dry docking of boats, among others, contributed to the poor water quality of the beaches in El Nido. The DILG has recommended to the DOT and DNR the closure of water activities in Bakwit Bay and Korong Korong Beach in El Nido for three months. Ang aming suggestion is timely na ngayon na ipasara. Kasi tag-ulan, wala masyadong turista. So, August, September, October, uh, kokonti lang turista. So, ngayon pa lang, kung, kung, habang kokonti ang turista, magsimula na tayo maglinis ng uh, El Nido para hindi masyadong negative yung impact. The secretaries of the three agencies have yet to decide on the matter. But as early as now, DNR Secretary Roy Simato ordered the suspension of water activities in the said areas. Mataas na yung risk nito, and this is a possible health risk. What we will do as of now is uh, temporarily pa palalayuin muna natin yung tao rito sa lugar na ito pending the decision. The local government for its part says they've already stopped water activities in the affected beaches since last week. They are now asking the national government for a three-month extension to rehabilitate the island. Uh, at ating pong tapiyang ayusya, yung anong pong mga uh, ginagawang mga pagpaplano ngayon. Amid the threats of closure, the DNR also issued a warning to commercial establishments in the island. We will deal with this uh, uh, commercial establishments head on then. Uh, we will file charges, we will shut their uh, operation down. The DILG clarified tourists are still allowed in El Nido. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.